So Sorry I guess we're all gonna rewind this, huh? Ah, uh, take it back. Now that I've worked up a sweat from the original breakdown. Yeah. What's up guys, what's going on? This is The Breakdown, I am The Camp Out. This guy to my left is... Tone of my voice, we here. Oh no, not every Thursday on the Thursday. They know why we here, they know. They get the notification, gang, 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 gang. You just fuck my whole, I was really waiting for you to be like, oh yeah, every Thursday on the Thursday, so there you go. All right, I guess we'll get right into the breakdown. So March 16th, which is today, I'm gonna go over a couple of shoes, or we're gonna go over a couple of shoes just because it's today and there's a decent amount. First off the bat, you got Nike Air Max 1 Ultra 2.0 for Air Max Day with the 3.26 on the tongue in the 2.0 shape, trash. Trash, super trash. Oh, yeah. They came out men's size and women's size, and they sold out in like three hours, two hours, both, or whatever. Nike Kyrie 3, don't know the name of this colorway, but it's dope. Fire. I like it. Fire, very nice. Very nice. With the, the swoosh. Vault. Dope. Vault in red. Nice Thumbs touch. Up. I'm a fan. Not gonna buy it. Fan. Nice colorway. Uh, next up, you got Nike Air Footscape Woven Chaka in two different colorways a green and a gray. No. <laughs> Shit's trash. But I am a fan of the silhouette, but Ooh. this colorway is trash. Brought this shit's trash back. You might see a trash can today. Uh, next up, oh, you got this. Damn. Adidas NMD, triple black. Shit's trash. Shit's amazing. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's triple black, I can't, I can't get with it though, I can't. Black, black, black. No, wrong. Black, black, shoes a different color. Yeah, but, uh, green, gotcha like grayish black. Triple black. Uh, you could do it. it. You could do it. It's just fire. Uh, Triple black up, and olive looks good together. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah? Yo. Are you a fan of it? Yeah. Next up, we got... Yeah. Ha! Ha! Tomorrow's releases, March 17, 2017. You get the Climate Cool, I mean Adidas Special Garwan. Garwan? That's how you pronounce it? Garwin? Garwin. Wow, Garwin. I'm an idiot. Uh, can't see. <clears throat> Light's bright. I swear that's why I couldn't read that. Um, you got two different colorways, an army forest colorway and a snow camo colorway. I like the snow camo colorway just because it's lighter. Either way, mm. it looks like a distant cousin of the climate pool, but that's a different story. Can we say? I think I have it. You can have this one. Okay. I like the Air Max one. Blue. Red. Premium. Allegedly, it's premium. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, your nay. Nay. I'm not with it. Really? No. I mean, uh, eh, eh, it's all right. It's kind of cool. I like the blue. Blue's nice. Azul, as it, if you will. Azul. <laughs> Maybe rojo. But... I don't know, man. I don't. I'm getting tired of this whole monotone kind of deal with sneakers. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a big fan of. of I, I'm not of saying it. there's nothing, I, but like you can't. I, uh, you can't like wall out and put colors on everything. They're 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 doing variations. Like obviously there was like a, a solid flow of color arrays and then they went to monotone and then go back to color arrays like it's just standard shit i feel like they've been in monotones for like three two years. years you said two yeah i said three all right that's close here's what it two is. and a half we could just go back and review and see <laughs> uh, next up you got this trash nike air foam posit pro silver surfer uh, no. next they dropped it in the wrong year man they should have dropped it like 10 years ago they could have dropped it when fucking fantastic oh. four came out or oh, when phones were hot but that's a different story adidas d lillard lillard Okay. Lillard. Can I get a little Lillard? Lillard, Lillard 3 Legacy. <laughs> All uh, white trash. Let's see the picture. To do, not cop. That's what it says right That's behind That's what it says. Damn, it, it says, says not to do, cop. not cop these. All right, anyway. Don't uh, plagiarize either. Next up, you got March 18th, which is Saturday. Obviously, what you guys have all been feeding over. Air Max 1 Atmos in just an amazing, amazing shoe. They also have a parallel <laughs> dropping with it. They got a gray and a black Nike Tech fleece jumpsuit with yes. the swoosh in the iconic colorway. Super fire. I kind of like the apparel a lot too, like a lot. Atmos uh, NYC is dropping their own different type of apparel with the release. And, and they're dropping bear bricks, bricks too, yeah. which is one of the reasons why it might be in Harlem. Really? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Pre-orders are like, open. Yo, Dab, you want a bear brick? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even call me, just do it. Um, yeah, kind of like the fucking Kooji from last week. Thanks. Yeah, dog. We left the breakdown, or he left the breakdown, went to the city, and told everybody else that he was there to get him. And I was like, what, no, about, I me? Told the group what chat. about me? You're in the group chat with everybody. It's not nah, my fault nah, you don't read the messages. Nah, 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 nah. I completely forgot you still wanted them. But you're lucky I was there for like half an hour talking to you know the employees or whatever. And you were lucky that your size is still available. I feel really bad for that guy Morris though. Morris? That's whose name was on the box that I got. It was a hole for somebody. It's gone now. 
we, we washed him off. The oh, no, that's the employee's name. Oh, that was his. In Foot Locker, they, they, they put the employee's uh, name uh, on the box really so they could get that sale. Bad. I was like, fuck, man, I feel bad. I should have let you believe that, huh? Oh, I did. I put in the review. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, next right. up. That's not my name. Get out of here. You got, what do you got here? Nike Kyrie 3 Cool Gray. They did good. Then they dropped the ball again. Whatever. Next, you got uh, AC Gel Kayano Trainer Knit in Reflective Pack. You got a white color, a black color. 3M hit on this shoe is phenomenal. I do like the shape. I do like the shoe. Didn't like the original Gel Kayano model. The white color, fire. No? Can't do it. <sighs> I can't do it. Do they go? But I mean, the they're following. Do they the, deserve the trash can or? No, no, they don't deserve the trash can. But I'm saying like they're they're trying something different now. With Acer, they're doing the knit material. It's not prime knit. It's not fly knit. It's knit. Sick knit. A sick knit. Sick knit. Oh, I that's pretty dope, that. right? That's pretty dope. Yeah, sick knit. Ah, uh, fire. Trash. <laughs> and times Reebok is the Pump Fury Black Salmon. No, just stop. Can we just destroy the sneaker silhouette? Just get rid of Insta Pump Fury like for like this two shoe. years? People like this shoe. You can't say that. All I'm saying is, it's not good. <laughs> you defend like both sides. Like, people like this, but I don't. Yeah, but, but let's do this. It's opinion. Like, it's it, opinion. You my like opinion is it, my opinion. Your opinion might like it. It's people not for me. don't like the shoe. It might be for you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Paolo, that might be for you. Wow. Paolo is in town, so I'll be shooting a vlog after this is over. It's like 12 o'clock. Off the right best now. one. It's like 1 o'clock. Oh, shit, I gotta go. It's like 1 o'clock right now, and uh, we're shooting it super early because I have a meeting later, but I'll be vlogging, so there'll be a vlog up from today, too. He just won't be in it, but Paolo will. Shout out to Paolo. Off the best, what up? Off the hook, time fans, mid-school. Whatever. I don't care what they do after that. <laughs> Burgundy leather. Um, Mustard laces. Fucking trash. For real? I don't like this. I'm pretty sure the material's gonna be phenomenal with the oh, leather. Yeah. But I just think this colorway is, is it's $120. It's pretty dope for $120. The I'm materials. just saying, like, I can't get with the colorway. Hold on one second. That's how you get stuff from Supreme, by the way. Um, what were we doing? Now we know Supreme's not legit, but that's a different story. No, he's online at Supreme. That's a different story. Wait, that guy works for Supreme? No, he's fucking, he's on the line camping. He probably couldn't find anybody for a pre order. I was like, yo, let me ask Mike. If oh, he's a reseller. Thing. Yes. Gotcha. Trash that you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back. These vans are super trash. I'm tired of this colorway getting done over and over. Oh, you're just gonna say? Why don't you go to the next shoe? This shoe okay. We established that's trash. Air Jordan 12 Low. It's uh, what is it? Wolf Gray, gray yeah. Cool Gray, whatever. It's gray. Not for me. Might be for him. Pre-orders are not open. You can get them yourselves. Trust me, they'll be there. I don't even fuck with 12s like that. Why would that be for me? Because it's gray. No. Yeah. That's why I said that. I'm wearing fucking green today. Anyway, uh, next. Oh, you, you got this. Oh, too. Got nah, I'm not touching this. I'll talk about it after. Uh, uh, Air Jordan Three Air Max. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm why are you sweating? Oh, I walked here. It's like three miles away. It's like ten minute walk. It's like twelve degrees outside, but I still sweat. Natural selection. It's whatever. So, you got another phone call? No, no, no. This is the list of what's coming out today. No, 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 do you think? <laughs> like I was saying, Air Jordan 3, Air Max 1, Atmos, Safari, Elephant, Collaboration, Pack, whatever it is. I don't know what they're calling them. Air Max 1's dope. Air Jordan 3, not so dope. Safari print. I don't know. They could have not done this at all. Just give the people what they want. It's just Air Max 1 by themselves. But from what I've read and from what I heard from other people, this pack is super limited. Retail's 400. Uh, Pre-orders are open. If you want to pay, hit me up. I might be able to help. Let me know. Now back to devs. Okay, so the differential into two shoes from the uh, regular release and the pack release is that the outsole is translucent, a black translucent with the Jumpman logo towards the toe forward area. And the footbed is got the elephant print and the Nike monochrome in the iconic colorway. Um, I don't know if it's really worth it. I hope he does get a pre-order so I can do a preview of a side-by-side -side in the review. That would be fantastic. And my Yeezys are here, so I'll be right back. <sighs> it's not my Yeezys. <sighs> At this right here, ladies and gentlemen, it's a disappointment when your package is not... You so, know. my UPS guy usually calls me and uh, it was... The standard USPS guy that never rings the doorbell, and I finally hear it for once, so I don't have to go to the post office, and it's downstairs. 
And it's not his package. Mm. Anyway. No uses for you. So moving on to the rest of the releases for the rest of the weekend, aside from shoes, for the moment, you got Kit Times Off-White, Off-Palette. I enjoy the colorways that he's doing, obviously pink and an off-white colorway in a sale. It's a pastel, um, pink. Fire. I, I, I'm enjoying this all together. I haven't bought anything from Off-White. One, the sizing is always a little weird for me. I'm not like... I like my stuff to fit a little bit, but not too big, but unless it's like an underlay look or whatever, I'm gonna have to buy something from this just because. You saw a lot of breath. I'm, yeah, I went up and down the stairs, excited for Yeezy, and I got nothing. Um, <laughs> you got a couple different pieces. I believe it's a t-shirt and a hoodie, uh, and then a long sleeve as well. So you got a t-shirt, long sleeve, and hoodie in both colorways. The sale and the um, salmon or pink or light pink or pastel pink, whatever you want to go with. There's also something else I want to throw in there. You got the boots. <coughs> He's probably gonna... um, and these cargo pants that are also in the preview selection for the apparel. It looks like there's two pairs of pants. Yeah, well, the gray the ones dark wash. The, the gray ones aren't. They're, oh, jeans. Those, they're, denim, uh, they're denim from the... Um, the Kiff program. Yeah, but they, they, they dropped this colorway with the LaGuardia tees. If you guys were unfamiliar. Why am I slouching so hard? Let me sit back up. You thinking about something? No, I'm just, hmm. You wondering? Hmm. Anyway, uh, you got these ripstop cargo black pants, super fire. I'm, I'm a fan. I love them when they originally dropped. I, I know there's a different cut at the bottom where it meets the ankle. I think it's just elastic and not uh, the three snap like they used to have. But either way, definitely dope. You want to talk about extra butters? <clears throat> so, the big elephant in the room. Atmos, Air Max 1. Are you doing a documentary? What the fuck is that? Yes, I am George. Up, oh, George. <laughs> I was gonna say Morgan Freeman. I was gonna say George Freeman. I don't know why. Or George Foreman. I, mean, I am George Foreman. Oh, there's a grill right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so these Atmos are releasing extra butter through an Instagram raffles. Pretty dope. Uh, you just gotta enter though. Just gotta be in it to win it. They're doing, you know, you just post a photo of your favorite Air Max one or Air Max in general and just tag. Um, what is it? Butter Air Max, whatever it is. I think Air, butter Air Max, and then you put in a U.S. size, and you just make sure you tag extra butter at the caption. It's pretty dope. How they doing it? I ain't mad at it. That's cool. What do extra you think? butter is very engaging when it comes to customers. <clears throat> if you guys aren't from New York and haven't been to Extra Butter, sorry about the, the back and forth on the phone here. I'm trying to like, yeah, assess yeah. things for the rest of the day. But uh, if you haven't been to Extra Butter before... If anybody wants to be hired as a secretary, please hit up the camp out. He needs a secretary. He needs help. Yeah, not just with this. I just need help, period. Um, <clears throat> Extra Butter is one of those shops when you walk in, you feel welcomed. It's a very friendly environment. Even though their aesthetic is like clean and it's like monotone, it looks kind of like, wait, where am I walking into a museum? But the people in there are really what sets them apart from all the other stores, very down to earth. You can sit there and bullshit for hours and not realize you're talking for that long. But aside from that, when they do things, they want to engage their customer or their fan base or whatever it is. So doing a raffle like this, I think is dope. One, a lot of people get to post up what they like, um, preference wise, old school, new school. If you're new into it, you really like this shoe, maybe you'll do some research and look at some other Air Maxes. Who knows? But like, it gets you more involved than just being like, all right, here's my name, here's my email, let's hope this happens. I, I feel like even from the other standpoint, when they do raffles and people just put their names, people just a whole bunch of different accounts they're trying to figure shit out like it's really like not a fun thing to do it's just like all right well maybe i could sell this pair if i do it 13 times or like she could call like i, I see people show up to raffles all the time they're like oh my i think my cousin wanted my little brother one or my grandmother she's in the car like i'm like dude you didn't even give a shit did you you're just like all right let me everybody put in your own fucking size and then come there and if we win we will i'll bring you with me like it's cool this is a different way to engage and i like it I, I appreciate the thought process they put into it as a shop yeah whatever you know no I agree. Oh, that's dope. That, that's... I was going through the hashtags. I was looking at, you know, the different posts that people put up. And I, what shoe did you put up? I put up the Air Max 90 uh, Bleach Denim. What shoe did you put up? Uh, the Bleach Denim that you wore last week? Yeah, boy. The one that beat you <sighs> at, the <laughs> at the sneaker battle. Anyway, I put up the Air Max 1 <laughs> Milan, which... Uh, <laughs> Probably one of my favorite shoes that they've ever done. I, I realized I should have put up my own bespoke is what I should have did, but I feel like that would have been I forgot you even had a bespoke. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to do one in London next week. Ha! Yes, yes. I'll be right back. <laughs> 30 minute episode is cool. It's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We filmed this three times, by the way. Two. <laughs>
think I just cut myself. Fantastic. Nice. Too excited for this. Two and a half week later. Shout out to Goat App. No, 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 shout out to Goat App. I'm not shouting <laughs> shit out. I did this on purpose because I, two weeks cause I know what happened. Well, first of all, StockX That's sucks. Bad there will be a video to go along with this review. Ooh, what's this? 350 box, as you can see. Kip is also doing a raffle, but it's based on the <clears> regular. <throat> you get the email, you gotta be in. Um, they do Kith Women's, Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Miami store only at the moment. So I think <clears> for <throat> the pack, they only did Manhattan and Brooklyn. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm talking about the regular shoe. I don't know if this one's in Miami. I was just sure if I saw yeah, this, Miami. This, this one's in Miami, because that's one of the options. I can just pull the email up, as okay. a matter of fact. I'm not just maybe sure, because I don't, we don't want to give people the wrong information. But, be in it to win it, guys. That's good luck. Be safe when you're camping out for this release if you're going to any first come first serve store. Be wise. Don't flaunt your money if you're trying to be out there and buy a pair. Stay away from shady people and be safe, man. This, when it comes to money, anything can happen, all right? It's just take every precaution as you can. Very quickly, I would like to bring up that pair of shoes that I just pulled out. Two weeks ago, when they posted up a whole bunch of stuff on Instagram, kids were doing like auctions in front of That's crazy. Adidas Soho and resellers were out there like, "I'll give you 17, I'll give you 19, bro, I'll give you 21." That kid wound up getting robbed, and the person that robbed him wound up getting arrested. Um, so definitely be careful of shit like that. Don't don't be out there like, "Oh man, I can make tons of money if I just sell to these guys." Like, don't don't second guess shit. Go home, put it online, whatever you gotta do. Take a hit for 100 bucks. What's a big fucking deal? Like, don't. Don't think that in the moment like shit is cool because it's really not. People are always plotting on some other shit. So be careful of what you're doing and where you're at at all times. Other than that, let's do a couple shout outs. You want to do 10 first? Let's do the 10 thing. Yeah, let's do the 10. So for some of you guys that do know, I work with a nonprofit organization called Tent NYC. We do a lot of you know community outreach affairs and we work in hand to hand with the NYPD and we do a bunch of cool stuff throughout the year. Um, this. Not this Saturday, next Saturday, the 25th, we will be hosting a Mexico fundraising trip. And not fundraising trip, but fundraising dinner for our trip to Mexico. So pretty much it's twenty dollars a person to come and hang out with us and you know enjoy play, you know, a big dinner, a big celebration, and you get to learn, you know, what exactly we do with the organization and stuff like that. So where is the dinner? It's gonna be in Bushwick. Okay. It's gonna be at a church. I'm gonna send you the information and you can like Put it up right here. Is are you? It'll be. Listen, if you guys want the information for that, it'll be in the description to the video because I'm sure yep. it'll be lengthy. So the date, the time, the amount, uh, and any other details like tents, Instagram, and Tone's Instagram are always in the description. So just hit the link over there, or just copy and paste it wherever you need to put it. Uh, I'll probably <clears> do a link so you can just click on it and go straight to it. But yeah. So pretty much the fundraiser is you know to raise the money that we need to buy the supplies for the kids out in Mexico for the orphanage. Last year we went to two different orphanages and you know we went to all you know just like kids and then like the other orphanage was all males that were like 13 and older and the ones that were just kids like co-ed that was like 12 and under. So it's it's pretty eye-opening going to a different country and like helping out with the community and you know it's just it's a good thing to give back as much as you can. So if you guys would like to help out to donate or just to find out more information just hit me up. I got you. Thumbs up. DM, please. Yep. <laughs> uh, next up, I want to give a shout out to Milton. As always, thank you for the information. If you guys don't follow Milton, he is the just flavors. all about it. The flavors. It'll be up here. It'll be in the credits. It'll be all over the place. But shout out to Milton. Like, I, I miss it sometimes and I forget, but I just want to make sure you guys know that Milton is basically where I get the information from there and like sneaker news and a couple of other random sites, <clears throat> uh, depending on what the leaks are for the weekend. I feel like Milton is like the biggest sneaker enthusiast I ever met in Puerto Rico like yes I haven't okay. seen anybody else from Puerto Rico that does it like him so good dude to follow so if you like good stuff follow him definitely get in there from Milton uh, also I was in Ikea earlier this week shout out to the dude that uh, spoke up said hello uh, you really you recognize him? Egyptian links uh, it was like a really funny scenario where I was like he was like on a line you know like I'm oh, not sure you can't use his line and then after I walked back over when they reopened it and I was like ah oh, it's cool man he's like like, I know your voice. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, what's up, guys? What's going on? Uh, and he was like, yep, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, shout outs to Egyptian Lynx. Yo, uh, that's mad funny. Just want to make sure I fucking take care of that. That's um, dope. They also, give you a discount? It's Ikea, dude. 
So that's... That's okay. enough. Um, <clears throat> we don't need that kind of stuff. Just saying hello with thumbs up and up. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to Paolo. He's in town this weekend. Shout out to the group chat. We here. Shout out to Dan. I see you. Um, you know who you are. After all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Shout um, out to both group chats. We here. <laughs> and the factory. The factory of... Uh, yes. Yeah, Remember guys, group. never talk politics with your friends. Yeah, don't, don't do it. It's just not worth it. No. Um... Also, I would like to mention the t-shirts because I know I keep saying this every week. I was supposed to pick them up this morning, but as you know, in New York, we had a crazy snowstorm. Oh, it's so that crazy. Bitch, you had to walk here. Yeah, because I didn't want to look for parking. I didn't want to why? Like... why? Because there's no parking anywhere? No, there's no Where's parking. It? Why not? There's ice everywhere. Nah, the snow was done. It wasn't that crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... It was that crazy. I just can't drive my car. Crazy was like, oh, five feet of snow, but it was like a foot of snow. That was it. Regardless, you, you can't drive. Like, it's obviously did a little damage. Well, I don't even know why I bother with this guy. Um, <laughs> so I'm picking them up either later today or tomorrow, and I'm not going to put them up until I can do it on the YouTube. I'm not going to push anything. I'm not going to do anything. The link will be made available next breakdown. So it will be all taken care of this week, <clears throat> and the shirts will be readily available on the whatever I decide to do. But it'll be, you'll know next Thursday, whatever. Uh, outside of that, what else is Stay going on? Stay tuned. I don't have to stay tuned. I thought you were going to do it through the sneaker head. Um, I am going to do it through Okay, head. cool. Yeah, yeah cool, so. cool, cool, cool. My boy has a t-shirt company, so I was I sent him a little business or whatever it is, made people do a little traffic through his channel, uh, and we'll do that. Either way, you want to do sneaker pad? Yeah. Is there anything else we have to talk about? No. No. <clears throat> All right, this is... This. Wait, you're going to wear those for the battle? Yeah. These uh, shoes I'm wearing today. I thought you was going to... Nope. These, right. I said it's either these or those, and I decided to wear these. I came walking through the snow trying to melt the ice, but didn't really happen, so... Oh, because they're did numbers? It, did it focus? No? I don't I mean, know if it focused. It's, it's pretty focused. Okay. I mean, if you don't it's know what that is. It focus? Well, if you pick okay. it up a little higher, maybe it'll focus. Like this? No, not lower. Like this. A little higher. A little higher. Right there. Now, now zoom in. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Alright, um, next up. <laughs> that was a fun camp out. I was in Boston for that release. It was pretty fun. Those are the Concept Times uh, Asic Gel Life 5 Embers. Correct? Yeah. Unfortunately, you didn't come with us for that release, but we have fun regardless. Should have been there, bro. These are Air Max 1 Pinnacles I picked up for free, I believe. Whoa! Uh, yeah, Nike might have fucked up. Uh, <laughs> they sent me a pair of slides. Oh, the Pinnacle in the sale colorway. If you guys are unfamiliar, I decided... That's good these, shape. I like these, the shape. These are also GR. GR shoes. Just, just saying. It's good material. Um, definitely dope. Fire. I mean, it's snowing outside. They're all leather, so easy to clean. And on top of that, kind of fits with my fit, which I like. Enjoy. I know you're going to vote embers. Um... <laughs> I wear fucking, I wear Air Max, oh fuck Air Max, it's whatever. Uh, I already know what's coming. Yo, you all right? Can you breathe? I'm, I'm good though. This nigga battle is so biased, you guys are messed up. Why you don't you vote for this guy, man? Vote for him. Don't, don't even answer that question in the comments, because I already know what's going to happen. I, I appreciate Listen, the views. I ain't going to front. This guy got a lot of heat. I don't know why he doesn't wear it for the sneaker battle. Either he's being a little bit too modest. I don't know what's going on, but trust me. He has it's, dope it's, it's Nike basketball stuff. It's, it's not necessary to wear that stuff just for the show. You know what I'm saying? No, I understand that. Like, but next week, I already know what I want to wear, but I'm also going to... Oh, next week, I'll be in London also, but I'll, I'll mention that next week. Are you going to be back in time for the, the breakdown, or...? No, I'm leaving... Oh, shit. We're going to have to film the breakdown on Wednesday. Okay, we could do that. We'll film Wednesday on, works for me. We'll film it on Wednesday, and I'll schedule it for Thursday night, because I think I land... Thir it's 23rd. Yeah, we could do that. I'm, I'm free Wednesday. We could do Wednesday. Oh, uh, yeah. Just let me know what's up. I mean, it'll still come up on Thursday, every Thursday, 8 o'clock. On Thursday. Yeah, film it on Wednesday, this Wednesday, at a certain time. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. I think we're done now that we've got a 30-minute video I have to edit. Um, thumbs up. Thumbs up all day, every day. We're always appreciated. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, or you'd like to actually vote for me for a change, the comment section is definitely there for you to do that. Vote for the camp out. Oh, God, don't do follow it. Follow the camp out. Uh, if you're not following the camp out, all the information will be up that follows this little video. If you're not following Tone of My Voice and Art on My Feet, the information is definitely a necessity as well. Milton the Flavors, if you're not following him, make sure you follow that guy. 
Tent NYC information will be in the comment section. If there's anything else that I have shout to healing forgotten, soul. shout to oh shit, healing souls. Shout out to healing. Shout souls. out to healing. Good souls. dude. And if you guys like the music that's been playing, shout out to Vlad the Mayor. He's got a lot of beats for me. Anyway, I think we're done. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm about to camp out. A few people hit me up like, yo, camp out. I watched it like, no, no. Little hit me up like, yo. Are you gonna put your shoe back on? Yeah, yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Still recording. Oh right, yeah, I see the red light. I'm being interrogated. Oh, hold on a second, let me turn the light up. Damn, dog. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Later.